here with Chief Justice Mark Rettenwald in the Hawaii State Supreme Court. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for joining us, Mark. Thank you so much for being here, Lila. This is an amazing building and I know you have a very important role in this building. Well, this is Ali'i Olani Hale. It's the home of uh, justice in Hawaii in a very real sense. It's, uh, this building has been here since 1874 and we're in the Supreme Court courtroom where we hold our oral arguments in cases uh, that come up on appeal from our court system. But one important thing we've done is to take the court out in the community. So we've actually been out around the state holding oral arguments in high schools over the last four or five years. And that's something we're uh, very, very excited about because it's important to uh, help people understand what the court is, what we do, and how our justice system works. And what better way to do that than uh, to bring the court out where folks can experience it firsthand. Yes, and the role of Chief Justice is quite an honor. It's the highest position that's possible. To me, I look at the folks who preceded me and I'm in awe of them and what they accomplished. You know, Chief Justice Moon, uh, C.J. Richardson, and, and, and other visionary leaders. And really, there's an opportunity uh, both to decide cases and to shape uh, the, the way the justice system uh, is structured and where, what our priorities are and how we can best meet the needs of the public. And then, of course, to communicate about what we do and explain what we do and be able to answer questions about it. And that's why I'm so grateful you're here today. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah, joining us because absolutely. it's a legacy. You know, our, our three branches of government are uh, often misunderstood or not even known about. Probably the judiciary, there's a mystique uh, about what we do. And I think uh, you know, fortunately here in Hawaii in our, our court system, we do have cameras in our courtroom so people can see the proceedings. But uh, even with that, I think there's a, a real need uh, for us to come out and, and show people what the rule of law means. And you know, the, probably the most gratifying thing when we've gone to high schools uh, is when we hear comments from students who, who basically say, you know, wow, you, that was really rigorous. The questions <laughs> you asked of both sides were really tough. And, uh, I think they see that it's a process that has integrity and it's fair, and that's probably the most important lesson we can share with our young people about the judiciary. I love that you are going into the community, you know, and uh, as a professional field, and not only demystifying, but also generating um, the thinking skills of our youth. There's a lot of legacy in judiciary in this building and in your role. Absolutely, and you know, when we go and ha and, and conduct these arguments, they're actual cases, but. What's really important is the, uh, the bar, the lawyers in that community volunteer to go out to the classrooms before we uh, bring the court to campus and they teach the students about the case. They even run them through practice arguments where they can pl play the role uh, of the court and the lawyers. So when we come on campus and convene the court, the students who are there, and sometimes we have up close to 500 students, understand what the issues are, they understand uh, what the flaws are on each side, and they're, they're really engaged in that argument. And then we do a, a Q&A session with the students afterwards, and we can't talk about the case because we haven't decided the case yet, but we can talk about how we came to be judges, how the system works, and it's incredibly exciting. We've been across the state. We're going to be uh, on Maui uh, later this month at Baldwin High School. We were at McKinley High School in the fall, so we've been uh, neighbor islands, uh, across Oahu, and we're really excited about this. We do it twice a year now. Well, you bring not only intelligence and competency, but a great deal of heart and uh, joy, it seems, into the process. And so, if you had one message. You know, I, I, the message I would, I would share is that, you know, it's a, we have a system that is based on integrity and based on giving everyone a f their day in court and a fair shake when that time comes, when they have something that might be the most important thing it can be the most important thing in their lives or one of the most important things in their lives that they're going to get a fair shake when they walk in the courtroom. And the other thing that I'd emphasize is that we really are trying to solve some of the root causes that bring cases in front of the judiciary. And, you know, in the criminal uh, arena, we have uh, problems with drug abuse. And, you know, we, what we want to do in those cases is to try to have an approach uh, to the defendants in those cases where we can give them opportunities to overcome that drug abuse and then go out and become productive members of society because the thing we want is to make society safer and, and, and to uh, not have a revolving door where people go out, commit the same crimes and come back again because they're hooked on drugs. Thank you so much for joining us today. I feel much safer even just talking with you. Well, I really appreciate it, Lila, and <laughs> thank again, you. thank you for this opportunity to talk about what we do. Thank you. Thank you. We've been conversing with Chief Justice Mark Rechtenwald. Thank you for joining us, and thank you so much. Thank again. you, Lila. I really appreciate it.